Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. It's a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make this look good. I'm begging you. Sir, please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you doing that? You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. Now, have your name and batch number, please. It's Captain Happy. God damn it. I also want to take a few seconds to thank my, uh, my paying subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. It's helping me to keep the channel growing and producing great content. Thank you so much for your contributions. It means so much to me. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be traveling to the DMV in Pennsylvania in Ben Salem, where we're going to be meeting our good friend, Riot Grill Radio. Well, actually, she's no longer Riot Grill Radio. Because I guess from what I heard, she got a cease and desist order. I guess Riot Grill Radio is some kind of a band name. I, re I really don't know nothing about them. But anyways, her new name is Rebel Riot Radio, I believe it is. Give me a second to check. Yes, it's Rebel Riot Radio. And she's going by that name now. I, it's kind of stupid. It's worse than the other one. But what she does here, she goes inside to do her filming and all that other nonsense that she does. Well, she creates a disturbance. And the people in there are not having none of it. They don't want her to record them. They don't want any filming. They want her to leave. They shut the DMV down and everybody in there is ticked off and flipping out and screaming at her. And then the police arrive. And you know how it is with these frauditors. She has to show this printout from the ACLU on recording in public. Uh, her fake press badge, which says good citizen or something on it. I forget exactly what it said. And then she has the, what was it, Title 18, uh, the, the federal, federal law or federal code for lawsuit. She's just, she's just a clown. You're going you're gonna to laugh your butt off when you, re, when you watch this video because she is so... Uh, I can't, I can't say those kind of words on YouTube, but you guys know what I'm thinking about. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? This is Rebel Riot Radio, and I am at the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation in Ben Salem, PA. As you can see, there is a line out the door. And here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, as you can see, there is a line out the door. You're going to see it in a few seconds when she walks in there. The building is jam-packed with customers waiting to get served. Why do you think it's a good idea to go in there and start filming? You know they're going to shut the place down. They're going to call the cops. Why would you be that stupid to do it? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're fighting for our freedom. You going in there recording citizens getting their... Uh, their driver's license, their ID card, whatever, is fighting for our rights. Really, you're, you're a loser. Goodness. Oh, thank you. Yikes, oh my goodness. Hi. He go video, he go video, he go video. What's that? How you doing? You got to turn it off. Well, actually, the law, it's a constitutionally protected activity. Hey, Frauditor, is it really a constitutionally protected activity because I'm looking on there right now at the First Amendment it does not say anything about using a video camera to go into a DMV of all places to record people you know yes you do have the right to 
redress your grievances with the government, but what does redressing your grievances have to do with filming people getting their driver's license or taking a test? And just uh, let me ask you this one. Pennsylvania has a wiretapping law. I wish people were on their phone talking and you recorded it so they could charge you with that felony. And put this crap to rest already, man. So I'm allowed to do that? A few moments later. Oh my god. Look how long this line is. This is crazy. There's so many people here. Why is it like this? Look how long the line is. It's crazy. Have you ever been in a DMV? Oh, wait, you probably haven't because you probably never had a driver's license. Or did you? Was it suspended? I'm kind of curious. Was it suspended? I'm not sure. I'm just asking. I want to know because I can't remember. Was it suspended or not? Is that all you can say is here we go? Why don't you get your butt up there in front of everybody and tell them what you're doing. Say I'm a First Amendment frauditor. I go around filming people, getting re bad reactions, uh, antagonizing people for clicks and views on YouTube. You know? And you know what? You're filming them, making money off of them without their permission. That's actually a privacy complaint. And I hope every one of them files a privacy complaint against you. Here we go again. Another penda and another refusal of service, which I believe is against the law. Oh, here we go again. Another DMV shut down. You know what you're doing. You're shutting these places down on purpose. Cut it out already. And you think it's against the law? No, it's a business. The DMV is a business. They have a right to refuse service. They could tell you to kick rocks, as the frauders like to say. And what they're doing by shutting down temporarily is they're protecting everybody's personal information because there's a moron with a camera filming everything because our rights are being whittled away. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one who is ignorant. They are. You see this lying at the door, man? Do you hear that scumbag? She thinks it's funny that people are upset, yelling at her, telling her, come on, let's go, get out. You know, she thinks it's funny. And she's not the one incon inconveniencing the people. No, she is inconveniencing the people. She's the one causing the shutdown. Would you leave already? And, oh, by the way, if you didn't, you don't know this girl, she, she idolizes that Joey Surreal camera. Here's his, uh, here's his image. What a wonderful guy he looks like, doesn't he? They're, they're all scumbags. That's all they are. Who wants to know? I want to know. What is it for? It's illegal. Who? Yeah. Who wants to know? I want to know. What is it for? Go on the car. Okay. Is this you? There you go. Call 911. I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing. <laughs> Garbage, the 
This tells me nothing. You're not allowed to be recording. No one recorders. No one recorders. No one recorders. Whatever you're doing is illegal. It's a constitutionally it protected activity, man. In case you're wondering what she's passing around a, a few people in there, it's the ACLU, your right to take photographs and make video and audio recording flyer. They have a PDF on their website that you could print out and take it with you and stuff like that. But it really doesn't do nothing. It just tells you your rights and what you can and can't do. It's a brief what you can and can't do, you know. And she's she's looking at some of this stuff, and she's misinterpreting like all frauders do, you know. Yes, you could videotape public officials in the in a public setting, but the DMV is a limited public setting. It's not full public, like a park or street or sidewalk stuff like that. And I'll I'll leave the link if I can. I'll leave it in description. You guys could look at this uh, flyer that they have and tell me what you guys think about it. Do you like waiting in line for hours? Do you it like being matter. treated rudely? So wait a minute. I go to a DMV. They're busy. They have a lot of people in there. And I sit down after I take a number and I wait for my number to be called. That's violating my rights. Huh. I didn't know that. I'm going to have to tell them that next time. They are. You know what? God doesn't like ugly, and you're being very ugly right now. Okay? I'm well, we have all the people that we have to take care of. I know that she shouldn't close. It's illegal. The woman is doing her job. This is illegal. You are absolutely correct. It is illegal. Not what they are doing, what you're doing. You're being disorderly, and you're creating a disturbance. And guess what? You're eventually going to find out in a little bit what's going to happen. Everybody call the police. She's not doing her job. She's not telling us who she is. You're not allowed to report us. I'll tell you right now. You're not allowed. Do you want me to show you the law? Anybody's permission here to report anybody. It's a law, man. No. Civil Liberties Union for going against Republicans and Democrats. They're, they don't care about you, me, or anybody who's lying. How so do you, you sir, you don't, don't know me. Vote. Don't vote for Civil Liberties Union. Yeah, wait, did that they're they're running for us. They're trying to take the state representative job. Did that get to do so? You did not say why you were caught. Just came in. Are you mentally ill? Nobody know who you are. Are you mentally ill? Am I Are you mentally ill? That lady is awesome. Are you mentally ill? Obviously you are. She hit the nail right on the head on that one. And I guess that's why frauders do what they do. They have to go to DMVs to film the people inside getting their cards and the employees in the background. Just for clicks and views, you know, because they can't do nothing else. And I'm just kind of curious. Can you guys help me out on this one? What does going into the DMV have to do with our rights being taken away? What does that long line and the long wait in the DMV have to deal with our rights being taken away? I'm kind of confused, and I'm kind of curious. I want to know why. I mean, that's what you are. Because you, you wouldn't be doing I'm going to fast forward it to when the police arrive. Because there's more back and forth and the customers are really angry and getting really, really agitated. So let's see what the troopers have to say. Why are you Why are you recording the I'm not. They are. No, I'm not. Why are you recording the people who are doing this? Why are you recording the people who are doing this? Yes. There's cameras They have cameras for a reason. All right? So do I. Anyone here could have a gun or something. People are upset, okay? You have to understand that. There's a child here. There are a lot of people here. I don't need to. I don't Do you care want why law? you're here. You don't but want to see people are asking you to leave. Do you care about the Constitution? Well, of the I United care States? about the Constitution, sir. Don't but I also up on care. Me. That don't come here, sir. Upset. Do you all, you want to, all you want to do is take our pictures. Do you care about people? I didn't take your picture till you walked up to my camera. Anyone who talks, you take their picture. 
That's right. So don't talk to me. So, your job is online, miss. Okay, how many of you guys wanted to see that guy grab her and throw her through the door and say, get the heck out of this town, you know? And, oh, no, I didn't take your picture until you walked up to the camera. No, you were taking everybody's picture because you were panning left and right and all around. So you know what, Frauditor? You're a liar. Once again, you're a liar. Just leave already because people are trying to get their, their license and do their business, you know. And you know what? He is right. There is kids there. Why do you need to film the kids? Oh, yeah, it's your First Amendment right. Yes, Yeah, you're a little close to me. <laughs> we can't talk in here. Get out! Okay. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Hi. Did you drive here? You can come out. Come on. You can record us. What's going on? Not much. That is awesome. Did you hear the crowd erupt with applause and cheers as the as the troopers came in and escorted her out of the building? And do you hear them screaming at her? She just does not get this. She does not get it at all. I'm an independent journalist and I'm gathering content for a story. Okay. Um obviously, you know, they're recording. Right. So they don't want you to record inside. Right. And uh that's the only reason we're here. That's it. Right. I'm sure you guys know it's a constitutionally protected activity. I'm covered by yeah, the First Amendment if I don't raise. You can film out here. Only film no, actually, I am allowed to film inside. I have the laws with me, so. Right. Yeah. Um. Do you have your ID or you have any sort of identification? So like they're that? trying to break, violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not going to let you violate my Fourth, sir. Well, they they they're <laughs> they determine you're trespassing right now. So basically, we need a record that we made. They can't trespass me from a public building. That my taxes help pay for? Wait a minute. Your taxes pay for the building? I highly doubt you're paying taxes. But anyways, if you look at that, that picture I just put up there, you can be trespassed if an agent that is running that property, the, pro the public property, says you got to leave, you're trespassing. You can be removed and trespassed. What do you frauditors don't understand about that? Do you have your ID or do you have your name, date of birth? Why would you, too. again, they're trying to because violate my First Amendment on, right and you're trying to okay. violate my okay. Fourth, just, sir. Just let, just let me hear, hear me out, please. Well, ID yeah. isn't, a, you can demand it all you want, but I have, name, I have a birth? Fourth Amendment right, don't I? Can I have your name, date of birth, please? Sir, if you try to violate my rights under color of law, that's a, that's a violation of 18 U.S.C. Section 242, right. deprivation of rights under color of law. 12 seconds later. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I made sure that this is a public building before I, I came did. here. I, I didn't ask any of that. Right. I was giving you information to be nice. And I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I'm just asking for your name. It doesn't seem right. like it. So because you I'm keep trying to violate my Fourth Amendment right, right over and over and over again. Here you go. This is direct from the ACLU Pennsylvania website. Do I have to show ID when police demand it? Well, not really in Pennsylvania. But if you are detained or arrested, you may cho uh, choose to show ID when they, when they demand it. But if you do not choose to show it, it's going to take a lot longer for them to try to figure out who you are and identify who you are. So show it to them, and you would have been on your way. You would have got your trespass warning or whatever it was that, that he was going to give you or tell you to do, and you would have been on your way. But you chose the hard route as usual because all frauditors love choosing the hard route because they think it's going to be a quick payday. Right. Um, the, the way it works is you guys leave. I go back in. I circle around just so they can see I wasn't arrested. And then I leave because everyone was screaming at me and telling me I don't have the right to do these things. Excuse me? Do you hear this idiot telling the officer, well, the way it works is I go around, I do a little circle so people don't see, so people don't see that I'm arrested, and then I leave. No, princess, it doesn't work like that. There is no law that states you have to do that or can do that, you know. It's just this fraud, this stupid frauditor motive 
of, well, I got to circle around to prove everybody that I was right and you were wrong. Ha ha ha, rah rah rah. Just to prove to this idiot, the officer had to go in there, get that female security guard or whatever she was, to come out and say, hey, you're trespassed, you're not welcome back. And then she's going to cry and say, oh, he solicited. No, he didn't solicit it. He most likely walked in there and said, hey, we need you to come out and tell this lady what you told us. You're not coming back to sign. They don't want you here. That'd be trespassing. I understand that that's not trespassing, so no one's asked me to leave. Yeah. I have it on yeah, camera. Yeah, just told us that you can't come back. Do you want me to tell her they'll come back and tell you? I mean, they'll do that. Yeah, they would have to do that on okay. camera, yeah. and then that's violating my rights. Okay. You stay here. You stay here. Sir, stay here. Yeah. You're stay gonna here, stay here. Gonna am I being out. detained? You're about to place under arrest if you're going to stay there. Sir, am I being detained? Stay here. Stay here. Why do I have to because stay here when I'm out. not they're being detained? I'm tell you because you can't go back in there. They're How can you trespass me from right a now. public building? Listen, they don't want you in there. That's it. You I'm realize that you're violating you, my constitutional rights and you will you lose your qualified immunity. What is it about these stupid frauditors that they don't understand? Oh, you can't trespass me from a, a public building. Well, actually, you can be trespassed. And it's going to happen in about a second or two. And your rights are not being violated. It's not happening at all, princess. Grow up, get a job. Well, you probably can't get a job because you probably have a lengthy criminal record. Okay, under threat of arrest. It's a violation of crime. And what, uh, okay, you guys, Pennsylvania, state police, how, where do I go to, like, file complaints against you guys? Like, where? Supervisor. I agree there right now. Oh, yeah, could you please call supervisor? Leave. I'd appreciate that. Could you please call supervisor? Leave leave? Yes or no? uh, Can you call a supervisor at least, please? Will you give the phone to him? Will I what? Will you give the phone to him, please? Why? I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. Well, now you're under arrest, George Sorley. Conduct, please. Sir, please I've had please enough please. I give this trooper a lot of credit because if it was me, she would have been handcuffed a long time ago. He gave her multiple, multiple warnings. You got to go. You got to go. You got to leave. And she just wanted to continue to be argumentative with him and plead her case. You don't plead your case to a state trooper or a cop on a sidewalk in front of a building. You know, you do that in a courtroom. They they uphold the law, the rule of law, and when you go to the court, they make sure that that rule that they upheld was legal and legitimate. It's not that hard. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit longer. I try to cut out a lot of stuff, and I try to put in some stuff, but she's just a, a whack job. But anyways... Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Pay attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels. Troll. You know, that's brilliant. What do you know?